Hi guys, welcome to Questions with the Comedian, part three. <laughs> this time I brought in my friend, Ashley Casanova. She's actually one of the first people that I started doing comedy with, so it's gonna be good. So Ashley, describe your worst set and have you ever bombed and like, what was it? <laughs> Like, but like, what's that? <laughs> you never bought Yeah, <laughs> never. I'm so good. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, where's that? Okay, it reminds me of I did this show in San Diego. It was okay. years ago. And um, and it was supposed to be like a clean Oh, gosh. Set. Instantly, I'm bombing a clean Instantly, set. Instantly. And like, so it was like a clean set, newer in my career. And it was like an older crowd, like kind of like outskirts kind of like thing. Oh. And like, and like literally no bites. Like nobody was like to wow. the, like not even just no bites. There's a, there's a guy at the front of it. He was like literally in the front and he was wasted. Mm -hmm. He was already hammered. Like, I don't even think the sun was setting. Like this is how bad the show's already set up. <laughs> and like, and he was just like, boom. <laughs> booing me like broad daylight like nice. making eye contact yes. yeah and then so then i had to like like pull out one of my dirtier closers and i got them oh, back wow. but they never booked me again wow. yeah that's you gotta painful. you gotta stay clean even through the booze um that's the only time i've been booed thank god i don't i've never been i've actually never been booed that's good but i Do mean you want i'm gonna give you this gig <laughs> No, I mean, I've had people like stare at me in probably a worse way than getting booed. Like just like that awkward stare, like this poor fucking girl. You've been heckled? Yeah. Yeah. But usually I don't mind getting heckled. I can usually like yeah, get it I back. Yeah, like I like the banter. Yeah, I like the banter. I can pull it back, but um, I don't know. I've had a couple pretty bad bombs. Yeah. Any any stand out? Um, well, the first show that I did stand up on was, uh, it was a really great lineup every every show and I had no business being on the show I just finagled my way on oh, yeah. and I remember one time I was just so nervous like I had just started a comedy no one laughed it was complete silence and um, yeah then the comics afterwards just all made fun of me and they were all famous and what really yeah. you got heckled by the comics <laughs> yeah, I got my famous comedians no yeah, they didn't know I was new I mean whatever I, I plowed through it that's good. That's good. I had just started. Like, I'm talking my first show had like all famous comedians on it. Damn. At least that's good. You didn't let them like let them show that it faced you. You know. Oh, you I know? went home and cried and. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately cried. I was like, oh, there's no point to life. I thought this was very there's no stupid. point. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm done now. And I'm okay. Done. <laughs> but. I don't know. I don't really bomb as much anymore, but yeah, I had a pretty almost bomb last summer too. Yeah, I think like when you don't get like the laughs you're like used to, mm -hmm. then our, our standards for ourselves are so much higher. Sure. So, yeah. Well, actually, I had one where the crowd was too hot, like they were laughing at everything I said, and I didn't. what a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, didn't, I was it had never happened to me oh, before. Oh yeah, so your timing kind of yeah, it was yeah. it was overwhelming. And so then I like got in my head. I'm like, why are they laughing? Like I said the word duh, like yeah. it's not funny. And um, so then I got in my head, and then like it just I kind of sucked the energy out of the room. Mm. So that was, um, but you know, well, you live and you learn. Yeah, stop sucking. I know I did. Well, <laughs> I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> Thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my OnlyFans and Ashley's OnlyFans. Send us a message and let us know what questions you want to hear in the next episode.